made it. I know. Look at you, girl. You look good. Yeah. Hi. Bluffs. How this are you? Where... This is beautiful. Oh, how's the drive? It actually wasn't bad. Can I take this off? Can I see? Are yes, you yes. I think we can take it off. Now. I can't That's breathe. Good. This is the perfect day for a hike. That is nice. Does this trail actually take you down to the ocean? This does. Are you going to go can, in? You can actually get to the ocean from this trail. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Are you going to jump in? Yeah, let's go. Did you have fun in San Diego? You know, yes, I actually did. You have fun in San Diego? I, Despite yeah, I the drama, despite I, the drama. I had a great time, you know, sober, dealing with a bunch of wasted, crazy animals. It was good to be on the other end of it. <laughs> I do want to apologize again for calling you a hypocrite and all that. I mean, I appreciate your apology. It's, but honestly, like, I'm never gonna no, like, get so mad at you or whatever. No, How many times have I had to apologize to you for <laughs> that I've said and done? I mean, come on. Amber, you guys good? Off yeah, to San Diego. I mean, it's. I think everybody thought that the Amber and I situation was a little more serious than it actually is. Yeah. Honestly, I think that the San Diego trip totally made me realize that we're on two different. Yeah. Sometimes going on a trip with someone like that for that amount of time really does let you know immediately if yeah. you want to stay in that relationship or not. San Diego was eye-opening for me with, with Amber. It made me see a lot of things about our, the relationship that we were in and just kind of made me realize that's not really what I need in my life right now. I think that romantically things need to move on. I mean, she's she's having fun. She's partying. I don't think yeah, she's, I don't she's, think she's gonna be that hung up over it. Right like now. I said, like, when we were 24, gosh, yeah. I remember going to Cabo with you and Frankie. Like those are some wild. I, I, I don't times. remember anything about Cabo ever. <laughs> that's that's. I mean, my God, we used to be. We had some good times. Yeah, There's lots of good times. We had a lot of good times. Good memories. Lots of good memories. Yeah. I know. You gotta create more. Definitely. Yeah. You know, I never would have thought that he would end things with a girl that's too wild for him and drinks too much, because normally Brody's the wild one that drinks too much. But I think he's come to a place in his life where he's realizing what his priorities really are, and I'm attracted to that. We're getting old, Brody. I know, and you're in a committed relationship now with Sean. Oh, so yeah, me and Sean. <laughs> have so. you guys hooked up at all? He did kiss me in He that. kissed you? And you would do. And yeah, I just think. Who's a better kisser? I honestly didn't make out with Sean. <laughs> I just don't want him to think like we're together. Yeah. You think he does? I don't know. Well, have you looked at yourself in the mirror? It's, he's not, he's not going to be able to just walk away very easily, I'll tell you that. I mean, I do want him to know, like, we are friends, and I don't want to lead you on or you to think Me? Of us. Really? Well, you don't want to lead me on? What? You're talking about me or Sean? Sean. What are you talking about? <laughs> so we're both saying. I need to tell Sean. <laughs> I'm a little conflicted right now because Brody and I have this thing that we've never really acted upon or really seen where we, it could possibly go. So I'm not quite sure what the right thing to do is. I really appreciate your... I'm always here for you. Thanks, always. Brody. Always. Always here for you. Should we walk down the beach? Yeah, let's go. I wish I would have brought my bathing suit. It's hot. Skinny dip? <laughs> Well, maybe I was really hurt by you, bro. Trying to make me look bad. Stephanie, get out of here.